Last night, I felt like I was starving to death. Everyone I've spoken to has said the same thing. They were so hungry that it woke them up. How is it possible for everyone to feel the same hunger? This flower was in bloom yesterday, but overnight it withered. Are you sure it was this one? Yes, it was this one. And all the flower beds. Both them and the trees have all withered overnight. In a single night. I can't imagine why. Could it be the roots have rotted? Or maybe because they were not watered. But I don't think that's the reason. No. It's something different. Like my hunger last night. It was very strange. I woke up last night as well. I was woken by hunger. <gasps> my lady! What happened? What is it, my lady? What has happened, my lady? Are you hurt, my lady? I couldn't see. My lady, we told you not to cry so much. Not to hurt yourself. My lady, you must look after yourself and your eyes. I'll no longer be seeing you, Sarsif. What do I need eyes for? of Amman, the great god, on the temple servants, and eminence Ankmahu. Greetings to you. What is it, Kimani? They have not announced it publicly, but everyone knows the famine has begun. How do you know? Who said? The hunger of many people. And the withering of many trees is a sign of the onset of famine. The famine started exactly after seven years. As Yuzar Sif said it would. We will not believe false rumors or the commoner's imaginings. But we should be cautious nevertheless. Try to store some wheat for one year, like we did before. If there's no famine, we still win. And if there is, then we'll beg Yuzar Sif in a year. If Yuzarsif had revealed the secret to storing wheat earlier, we would then have built. We would have built many silos and stored wheat for the use of the temple, therefore impeding Yuzarsif's efforts to overcome the famine. Yuzarsif claimed he was taught the secret of storing wheat with its stems by his god. That is both boastful and baseless, if you think about it. It is not baseless. His exact interpretation of that dream and his consecutive successes in managing the affairs of Egypt and the secret of storing so much wheat for so long a time are the signs of Yusasif's power and his gods as well. If he didn't have such a secure position, he would most certainly be defeated by all these problems and so many difficulties. Eminence Ankamahu, are you confirming the power of Yuzarsif and his god? No, no, I am not. I am saying, however, there is a question that must be asked, and it is, what is the reason for his success? I don't underestimate my enemy. 
Nor do I close my eyes to the facts. Eh. <laughs> Let's go and get our big reward. Wait, wait. Not so fast. First, we have to know where Yusasif is. Uh, right. Let's go. To the silos. Stop! Stop! I said stop! What are you doing? Stop! Why are you doing that? Why are you going so fast? That's the same behavior as Amon Temple soldiers. We are their people's servants, not their superiors or lords. You mustn't ride like that through the crowd. Yes, Excellency. Let's take it slowly. We're in no hurry. Please forgive us. Let's go. Going to the silos. And we'll get a big reward out of Zaleka. Yuzarsif's married. What's his wife's name? Asanath, daughter of the Aten priest, Eminence Kamosis. When were they married? And how come we didn't know about it? Because we've confined ourselves to this palace for such a long time. Yusarsif even has a daughter now. Poor Zaleka. You know that we have to tell her. No, she mustn't find out. If she knew about it, without a doubt she would kill herself. Why would he go and do something like this? What are you saying? That he shouldn't get married? Yes. What about Lady Zaleka? Are you mad? Why would he be thinking about Lady Zaleka? After how cruel she was? After she put him in jail for years? Why would he want her after all she did to him? Two young men wish to talk to Lady Zaleka. What is it they want? Bring them in. Couldn't see Hoya clearly. My eyesight becomes worse every day. It is because you cry so much. Have mercy on yourself. If you don't stop, then in the future you'll need help for walking. You should let Physician Sinue have a look at your eyes. There may be a treatment or a cure. My physician is someone else. Although he doesn't know who his patient is. Greetings to Lady Zaleka. One bows to the second lady of Egypt, which I am no longer. To do so now is ridiculous. Come closer. What have you to say? What is it you want? A reward, my lady. We know where you are, Sif. We're here to make you happy, not for a reward. Uh, have you news of you, Sir Sif? Yes, lady. User Sif has gone to visit the wheat silos. <laughs> and we want to make Lady Zuleika happy. Does she not want to make two needy youths happy? Of course. I'll be right back. You are not needy. You're just two swindling rogues. Here. This is your reward. My lady, wait a moment. Now first give her the news. Right. Excellency Yuzersif just now went to the wheat silos. That is enough. Leave. 
Out! Quickly! He's gone to the wheat silos in Thebes. I'm going there. You go with her. Because she can't see well. Don't leave her. Governor of Egypt. God's greetings to you. Long live you, sir, Steve. May God take you, sir, Steve. You, sir, Steve. You, sir, Steve. You, sir, Steve. God protect you, sir, Steve. Thank you. Please sit and resume. Sixty measures. Next, here. Which silo have you opened? The first one that was filled seven years ago. Well done. If we left it much longer, it would have become infested. Are you giving wheat to the farmers? No, Excellency. The farmers have enough stored for the first year. We're giving wheat only to the artisans in the city dwellers. Fifty, Devon. Fifty measures! Thank you very much. May God save you, Sasif. Name and information? Digihodi, son of Nimlet, resident of Thebes. I have a wife and four children. Digihodi, of the middle class. Your share this month is 60 measures. At one debon each, you pay the buying price. 60 debon. Excellency Yuzarsif, wouldn't it be better to give wheat yearly instead of monthly? A year's worth is a lot. It would tempt the thieves and profiteers. insistence in hurry when you can't even see you, Sarsif. You wouldn't understand even if I explained. Yes, I know. We all know that you love you, Sarsif. A meeting him requires seeing eyes and a beautiful face. But you have lost both from crying night and day. You mean one who goes blind cannot look for the one she loves? Or the one who is old and ugly cannot like life? I hold dear in my heart the one who is missing. Old age and blindness will not stop me. I'm going.
What's the matter, Excellency? Are you looking for someone? I thought for a moment I'd seen the old woman from my dreams. But it must have been my imagination. Let's go. way to see him? I did. But I didn't want him to see me. His ugly face and half-blind eyes. I came to see him. But I couldn't see him clearly. Why did you want to see you, Sir Thief, my lady? son. Is that the sound of a caravan? Yes, Grandfather. Tell your father, Benjamin, to come to me, all right? Go on, and be careful. What is it? Benjamin, my son. See if you can bring the caravan leader to me. Very well. Greetings to the prophet of God, Jacob. Melika, is that you? God's greeting to you. Why does the prophet of God not know me? No, Melika. My eyes are losing their sight. I tell him to weep less, but he doesn't listen. Tell me, Melika. Have you any news? Yes, but I'm afraid not the news you want to hear. Where are you coming from? And where are you going? What are you going to trade? The usual. I buy aromatic medicine from India, and I take it to Egypt via Hejaz and sell it to mummifiers. Have you looked for my missing one? I've asked the merchants and shopkeepers in India or in Egypt many times, but nobody knows of him. I've even asked slave drivers, but again, nobody knows him. I remember you once told me of a young prisoner in Egypt. I don't know why. But I feel in my heart that my Joseph is in Egypt. How are things in Egypt? There is famine. But the governor of Egypt, who is wise and intelligent, has harnessed the famine very well so far by the timely storage of wheat. The Egyptian people call him Yuzarsif and love him very much. Yuzarsif? That is similar to Joseph. Our Joseph is not a governor. Do not forget the request of an old man. I pray to God for the safe passage of your caravan and yourself. Thank you, prophet of God. Wherever I travel, I will ask of Joseph. May God bestow health and prosperity upon you and your caravan. Go, Melika. I'll be waiting. I hope you find your missing one soon. God be with you. God be with you. God, God be, be with you. you. 
There may soon be a famine in Canaan as well. Although it may be already too late, try to store as much wheat as you can. We must be prepared. Coming drier. Could the Holy Nile dry up completely one day? Lady? Lady? What is it? What do you want? Sorry to bother you, my lady, but we have nothing to eat in the palace. I have heard that they give free wheat to the needy. Are we not needy? No, my lady. During the registration, the agents did not record us as needy. Therefore, we cannot get any wheat, my lady. We have no choice. Go to the silos and ask. We may be able to get some wheat. Tama and I will go. We might be able to get some. I don't hold out much hope, but we must do something. Wait. Let Hoya come with you. The gardener and I will stay with the lady. Yes. We mustn't all leave. Let's take a few sacks and go to the silos. Yes. We must admit that Yusa Sif has been very successful in becoming popular with the weak and the needy. He has managed to take absolute control, and he is now managing everything. Yuzar Sif has spread his power and influence, not only amongst the needy, but in the officials from the top to the bottom as well. It is very worrying. Yuzar Sif has defeated all his opponents without resorting to the use of military power or violent action of any kind. Do you see how he has expelled us from Akhenaten's palace and confined us to the temple? See how he has made Lady T secluded and isolated and has separated many people from the temple? I think there exists a truth much greater than all these. One that we are too afraid to mention. Yuzasif has been able to get all the needy Egyptians close to the One God. It is a great shame for the priests in Amman Temple and for the Egyptian God. And on top of that, the shame of the wheat storage problem. We depleted our wheat storage in the first year. What are we going to do in the years to come? The priests of Amman Temple have always known nothing but luxury. They can't endure hunger or the shortage of wheat. We are going to have to buy the wheat. <sighs> oh, great Amon! Oh, great Amon! Help your temple servants! And your priests in fighting you, Sasif. Uh. 
one Deben for one measure of wheat. Thirty Deben. Nefermon! Nefermon! Thirty measures. Go. Who's next? One measure of wheat. Three Deben. Three Deben? Three Deben? What? It's one Deben for commoners and free for some others. Why is it three Deben for the temple priests? Why is that? And how should the efforts to fight the famine be financed? From the pockets of the poor or the wealthy? So you're implying you think the temple is wealthy? We charge you the same as others, just like we charge all the wealthy. And what is it to you if a man is wealthy? You must give wheat to the temple priests cheaper, not more expensive. Whatever you have is from Amon. That's right. What we have is from Yuzar Sif's blessing and his god. Not Amon. Amon can't even provide food, even for its priests. You mean for the 3,000 people in the temple? You want us to pay 9,000 Deben? <laughs> <laughs> How well you calculate, Excellency Kimini. The temple will not pay that much. Nor will we succumb to Yusasif's despotism. Let's go. Let's go. Next person. What's the matter? Why do you not come forward? Do you know them? I do not. What is your name? Hoya, son of Hoylede. Yamani, daughter of Bingi. Tama, daughter of Pabatma. You're not on the list. You must be either slaves or are supported by someone else. Yes, that's right. We are servants in Potiphar and Lady Zuleika's palace. I'm sorry. Only your master can come and get your share. We cannot give it to you. Oh, mistress is needy as well, or she would not have sent us here. Can you please give us what we need? Only this one time and we won't come back. I can't go against the law. If your mistress is unable to afford your food, why doesn't she free you? The needy who are free is supported by the government and the needy slave by their master. Either your mistress must come to get wheat or she must free you, so you can get free wheat. You'll give us wheat if we are free? If you have the freedom certificate, yes. Then you will be the government servant. And the government must provide you with food. Wait! This time, I will give you some wheat, but next time, come with your master or with a freedom certificate. May God protect you and use Asif. Ten measures of free wheat for each of them! Off you go. Over there.
I see that you have returned empty-handed. Yuzar Seif has ordered them to take three times the amount of Devon from the priests and the wealthy. We were humiliated before commoners. They laughed at us. Who could imagine that one day wheat would be worth more than gold? Wheat is an effective weapon in the hands of Yuzar Seif. If I were him, neither would I give the least chance to the enemy, and would make the most use of the opportunity. Now, what shall we do? Thousands of temple people are in need of bread. This is war. And in a war, one must try different tactics. Right now, Yuzasif has the upper hand. But we must not let him know it. We mustn't admit our defeat. It is exactly what he wants! If the weapon of the tongue fails us, we must resort to the use of swords. We must go to Akhenaten's palace and talk to him about the famine. We will demand that he give free or at least cheap wheat to the temple. Go and tell Akhenaten we request a meeting. They don't give wheat to slaves, as long as they are slaves. We were lucky to get this. And what if they are freed? Then the government of Egypt is duty-bound to provide for us. Because we are considered needy. Follow me. All of you. I'll call the gardener. This is the seal of Potiphar. Therefore, nobody can deny it. My lady, we did not ask for freedom. We were just quoting what the agent said. I am not in need of anyone's sympathy. Don't waste your life in this house of sorrows any longer. You can leave. As of today, you are free. Take them. They are your freedom certificate. No one can bother you, nor can they deprive you of your rights. But, my lady, we don't want to leave you. We are indebted to you, and we cannot leave you. You have no choice in the matter. If you stay here, then you'll starve. But, my lady, you cannot live alone. Famine and hunger threaten you as well, my lady. What will you do? You have nothing either. There are still many valuables in the palace. I can buy wheat by selling them. Why not have a share from the stored wheat as well? I'll go. I hope you start a new life somewhere. For God's sake, my lady, do not throw us out. Go and be free of the pains in Zuleika's palace. Go. We are your slaves, my lady. We just cannot leave you alone. Then visit me from time to time. We have been with you since childhood. How can we endure loneliness now? Be sure I will miss you. Now go. Lady, 
We are used to you and end this place. Where will we go? Did you not hear me? Go! Please, lady, wait a moment. Do not throw out your servants. That's enough. So go, please. Please, 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 no, please. What are we going to do? Where can we go? How can we leave you? There is no place for you here. Go. I prefer to be by myself. It is useless. Useless. She doesn't want us. She doesn't. Must 
I be lonely? How long must I mourn? How long will you continue your disloyalty? How long must I endure your separation? My eyes don't see anymore. How long must I wait? sleeping here? I dozed off. Once again, I saw that old woman in my dreams. And you don't recognize her? Yes. Well, I feel that I know her. But I don't remember when or where I've seen her. I don't know why I don't see her face. You could have the agents compile a list of all the needy women in Thebes. There might be a name you recognize. If I was meant to know her, I would see her face. There is a reason I can't recognize her. It seems Ankh-Mahu and the priests want to complain to Akhenaten 
and the Pharaoh does not want to meet them alone. I must be there as well. Must you really be present as well? Yes. I think the fight against idolatry has entered a new phase. The temple must have run out of its stored wheat. What are you doing here? I told you to leave. Lady Seleka, we couldn't leave you. Perhaps, perhaps Hoyer and Sufa are not as attached to you, my lady. But Tama and I are just not able to leave you. I told you to leave me. I don't need you to pity me. I want you to leave me alone. Go on. Uh, 